Belichick put out like this uh, his, his mid-season all-pro team and he had Orgy on there for, for special teams. Just, I guess he's kind of flown under the radar a little bit for us. Like, What, what, are, what are some of the things that he's doing well? Yeah, listen, I think, you know, his best phase, uh, he's been really productive on the kickoff team. Yeah. Um, so he's, you know, I think he's our second leading tackler right now on our team on the kickoff. Um, you know, I think JT's one, I think he's two. He, he came out the gate first game of the year. I think he had the first three tackles. Um, and he, so he's played very consistently on that team. And so, you know, as we all know, this is a production business. And so, you know, when you look at the, I think the NFL leaders and tackles, you know, he's up there. Um, you know, but uh, you know, listen, he's a guy, you know, Penny, I call him Penny, the Anthony. Uh, he's, Penny, he's, Penny, yeah. he's Penny to me. Uh, you know, Penny's been really good, um, really a, a huge improvement from year one to year two. He's been like that typical guy that had that big jump. Uh, we got to get him a little better in some of the other stuff, you know, some of the return stuff, and that's, you know, kind of a slow work in progress. But I'm really happy to see his, his progression and his progress. Um, and like I said, as you know, we've put a lot of balls in play on kickoff, and for him to be our, our second leading tackle, that really says something. Yeah. Does he get the reference? I'm sorry? Does he get the reference for Does Penny? he get the Penny reference? Well, I started calling him right away, and, I, and uh, he, he started answering right away, and I, I finally said to him, like, you know why I call you Penny, right? He goes, yeah, yeah, I know why I call you Penny. <laughs> I think some other people have no idea, yeah. still maybe, <laughs> after two years, some of the other guys, but now he gets it, he gets it. But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really happy with the way he's progressed. What's your thoughts been on the punt return the last couple of weeks with Jermaine? With Jermaine, I, listen, I think we're, we're a little bit uh, of a work in progress there with Jermaine. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, last week is only his second time he's ever lined up in an NFL game. Um, there's a couple of decisions I think we want to have back there from last week. Uh, I thought the first week, like I said, I, I thought it was a good start. I thought he was trying to be a little maybe too aggressive at times last week with some stuff. But, um, you yeah, know, listen, he's got a, a, a large body of work in college that was pretty impressive, and we got we got to bring that. Um, you know, it's been one of our better phases through, you know, you look at the midway point of the year and you look at, you know, kind of what you're doing well, what you're not doing well. And that's been a phase for us where we've obviously made a lot of plays, um, both in the return aspect of it, the rush aspect of it. So that's got to be, you know, last week, you know, we forced him to punt six times and, you know, want to have more, more pro, uh, you know, want to be more productive when they punt that many times. And so I thought his last return was really good. Uh, when they were punting out of the end zone, he got the ball, he got north and south. Next thing you know, it's an 18-yard play. And that's really what he should have been doing the whole game. I think we probably left some hidden yardage out there on the field. Uh, but I got a lot of confidence in Jermaine. That's why he's back there. And so, um, you know, we just got to, you know, with, with any young player, doesn't matter what the position, there's going to be that learning curve. There's going to be some peaks and valleys. There's going to be some inconsistency. And so uh, it's one of those things where the more reps you get, I think we'll see a better guy. Or was the distance on the kicks a factor? Because it seemed like a few times he was sprinting back. To yeah, that. so he got he got lost a little bit on one of them. The one he fair caught inside the inside the ten. We we don't want to fair catch that ball. Uh, he's got to let that ball go, or let that ball go, or return it, but not fair catch it. And so, what, after he fair caught it, he didn't realize he had he had drifted that far back. And so, uh, to their punter's credit, he had a heck of a day. Their punter had a really good day. You know. You know, I hear people talk about, ah, oh, you never feel the ball inside the 10. That, that's, that's, that's inaccurate. That's an inaccurate statement. So we don't want to fair catch the ball down there inside the five for sure. Uh, but like the one he had before that, they were punting from the 33-yard line. They had a line drive to the five, six-yard line. He got a positive play out of it, you know. And so we think we can get some return yards there because they have so far to cover. So it really depends on what our call is, where they're punting the ball from. Now, if they're over the 50-yard line, and they're punting the ball down there, then certainly we don't want a fair, you know, again, we never really want a fair catch. And really don't want a clean catch a ball inside, inside the, and, and, you know, really for us, that returners usually line up between the eight and the 10 yard line. So he just kind of lost where he was on the field. But credit their guy, their guy had a, their guy had a phenomenal day. I thought he had, he had punted as well as he's punted. I think that's something that Rashid said when he was talking about his home to the Atlanta game, he didn't realize he was that far back there. Is that just something for a returner that, it's kind of harder than maybe people realize or? Yeah, well, first of all, I think that skill itself is maybe one of the most underrated things. Um, I think people just kind of chalk it up as, ah, you should have a punt returner. Uh, that's why you see our guys out here catching extra balls. It's one of those things, you know, you have to work on every single day. It's like golf or baseball or whatever sport you want. We have to kind of fine tune your craft every day. That's one of those things. So, you know, we have some, we have some rules where you're supposed to line up and you know, if you're on the eight or 10 yard line, you feel yourself take a few steps back and letting the ball go, things like that. And that, that was really the same thing with Sheet. Listen, all those guys, typically punt returners have an aggressive mentality, you know? Uh, we're playing a guy this week, uh, Blackshear has one fair catch the entire season. 
he's been a really aggressive guy. And so, um, you know, there's going to be guys, those guys are usually playmakers. They want to make plays. They want the ball in their hand. They think they can change the game. And so sometimes you got to let that not become a liability, if that makes sense. So, yeah, it's, like I said, work in progress. We can all see kind of like raw numbers with the uh, ball and Listen, I think, you know, every week we have a little bit of a different game plan, as you guys have seen with our punt formations and our punt locations and our types of punts and everything. I Listen, I think Matt's done a really good job of executing that particular game plan. Now, has every ball been located exactly where? No. We're going to keep the ball out of the middle of the field. He had one punt last week, with, which I think was like a 59-yard punt. He hit it really far, and he boomed the heck out of it, but it's, he hit a line drive middle of the field. Those are the balls that you see get returned for big plays. So... I would give him uh, I'd give him about a B plus so far on location. Uh, he does have 19 of his what is it 35 punts inside the 20, so that's been really good, pinning people back. Um, we probably left a couple. You know, the one hit the pylon last week, kind of bad luck on the one that goes. That's an inch or two more up the field or on the one yard line, so a little bit of misfortune, and he got a little bit of a bad hop on the second one. So, um, but you know, listen, I think Matt's actually uh, you know for a rookie guy in this league, I think he's I think he's so far so good. And, and you know I, I'm going to give my week eight update on the on the kickoff. I'd be remiss if I didn't, right? Uh, a couple interesting things. Kind of got a mid-year report on that. Um, other than the kickoff numbers themselves, which have pretty much stayed consistent, we're pretty much about doubling the rate from last year um, with the return rate. You know, overall number of returns, but some, kind of some added things which, which are pretty neat to look at this week analytically is um, number of punts overall are down in the league as a result of the kickoff rule because of the field position. Field goal attempts are up as a result of the kickoff rule. And it's slightly, it's not a huge increase, but it is, it's an increase. Um, and so that, you know, I'm not, I can't say I'm really surprised by that because the field position has changed. But what you see for is you have a lot more go for it situations um, come up because you're kind of near midfield with some of this stuff. And so, you know, the decrease in punts and the increase in field goal attempts and then scoring is slightly up um, you know with with the results after a kickoff so all those things I think are positives for the game and so we're seeing some some other you know side statistics that are pretty uh, pretty interesting as it, as it comes along with the kickoff so um, you know I, I think the most interesting thing will be when the when the injury rates come out but I know the play speeds and speaking with the league play speeds are way down which is what really what what the goal is and uh, you know we've already had three kick returns in, in you know in halfway port of the season for touchdowns, and so some really good stuff that's that's coming out of it. So it's not only the kickoff that the game that's affecting the game. It's it's you know it's the other things like less punts and more field goals and more points. That's a that's a win win win. It's a bunch of bunch of check boxes. So hopefully we continue to progress as as we're seeing this weather start to change in the Northeast. You're seeing the return rates go slightly going up, which I think will continue to happen. So so I think all positives there. If it ever gets cold. If it ever gets if cold. If it ever gets cold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay if it stays warm here. <laughs> I'm okay. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thanks, man.